In this video, we will talk about the properties of a component such as instant swap. I have already made a similar video, but it featured the old interface, so I decided to make a new one. If you need to quickly replace an icon without delving into the design system, it's enough to, in my case, I use instant swap specifically for this purpose. It's enough to simply go into the better proportions with this button and change the icon to another one. This is very convenient if you have, for example, if you don't have icons on hand, but they are somewhere in the system or stored in a separate file. In our case, we will store all the icons in the same file. So to start, create a button, make it a main component and through add property on the right, simply add instant. Name it, for example, this icon and where is the peak? Next, choose one of the icons that will be set by default. In my case, it's a folder with components, which is called specifically page called instant. And here I simply remove one of the icons that will already be set by default. Then I click create property. In the assets, I have a Boolean created from the previous lesson and instant swap. I go here specifically because the component is created in the org page for instant swap. And I drag the button onto the workspace. As you can see, nothing happens with the button right now. We cannot change the icon in any way. This is the case when people just don't understand what was done wrong. In order for the button to be filled, for the icon to be filled in here and for the instant swap properties to even understand what you are trying to change, it's enough to double click on the icon and there at the top. We created properties for the instant swap component and a tab called apply instant swap property appears. Click on it and select icon here or whatever you have named this component. And now when you go into the button in the child component, you see that instant swap has been applied here and it tries to find all the icons that are in the file. That is, it tries to pick and replace all the components that are here with what you choose. Therefore, it is very important to first decompose the icon from the icon. You must create it as components. This is very important. Otherwise, it simply won't find them. And secondly, it is advisable to store them on a separate page. Otherwise, you will have a mess of different components, such as icons. You see the button and now, of course, it won't work because it cannot replace itself with itself. Well, for example, it can replace an icon with some other icon from my icon library. If you have any questions left, sometimes it's not entirely clear what instant swap is, how to use it, please write in the comments some. That's all from me. Thank you very much for watching this video. I wish you good luck. All useful links will always be in the description under the video. See you next time. Goodbye.